Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial on per unit calculations. This is tutorial 9. We have a different load configurations compared to the previous tutorial. The problem statement say, draw the per unitized impedance diagram for the configuration below. Use the generator KVA rating and voltage as the system base values. So we have the generator here have a KVA of 18 kilovolt ampere. It's a three-phase generator. And we have VG, that's the generator voltage, is 480 volt. So these are going to be used as the base value for the entire system. And then they say, calculate the per unit impedances and the line current flowing in the load. Okay? So draw the per unitized impedance and calculate the per unit impedance is exactly the same thing so we need to convert these elements here into a an impedance a per unit impedance so the five percent here is the old per unit of this generator so this is one element and this one is a transformer one this is our line and this is transformer two and this is our load which is a star wound load then after calculating the per unit impedances, we need now to calculate the line current that is flowing in the load. Okay, so there is a current flowing there. Then we need to calculate the current flowing on the transmission line. And we need to calculate the current that is flowing on the generator. So these three currents are not exactly the same. So we'll see when we get there. So stick around and we'll see how we're going to get to those current values. Now, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated and hit the bell for future tutorial like this. I thank you. Now to calculate the per unit impedances of all these electrical elements, we use the general formula for the new per unit values. Noting that we already have an old per unit that is given, so we now need to calculate the new per unit value based on the base value that are given here. The 18 kilovolt ampere for the apparent power and the 480 volt for the generator voltage, which is the base voltage for the zone, zone 1. It is important to always separate per zone. That way you're not going to mix up the voltages because if you just miss one zone voltage that means the rest of the calculation is going to be wrong because you get a wrong voltage that means your per unit is going to be wrong for the particular zone and if you are working on to get a total per unit of the system you're going to get it wrong if one single per unit is wrong so it's important to always have your zone voltages correct and separate them by zone so right now zone one the voltage here is 480 volt that's the generator zone voltage okay this then mean the new per unit value for the generator is given as follow so z per unit for the generator one is equal to the following values and the values we obtain them as z per unit old is five percent that is thus five percent and spn is 18 kilo volt ampere okay and uh, SB old is also 18 kilovolt ampere because remember we're using the generator as the base values. And VB old is 480 and equally so VB new. So we replace in the formula and that's how we found the value of 0.05J per unit. So we move on to the next one and that is T1. So what is the per unit for T1? T1 the per unit is given as follow we do exactly the same thing we did with uh, g1 we replace and in the formula so z per unit all for t1 is also five percent sbn is 18 kilovolt ampere remember sbn is the new base apparent power and that is exactly the same for the entire system and sb old is 30 kilovolt ampere vb old is 480 volt and VBN is 480 volt because the new voltage is 480 that's coming from the generator and the old voltage is the primary of the transformer is exactly the same. 
so it's 480 then we get the 0 0.03 j per unit now we move on to the next element here is the per unit of the line okay now we know that z per unit of the line is given by z actual divided by zb zb is the base impedance so the first thing to do is to calculate zb because we already have z actual which is z line right here so we only need to find zb then we can calculate the z per unit of the line so zb is given by the formula below zb is equal to vb square over sb nu and vb square now you see how important it is to know your zone voltage if you get a wrong zone voltage then you're going to get a wrong answer so the zone voltage for zone 2 is 1440 volt okay so that is a zone voltage for this zone because we're working on the secondary of t1 so that is the transformer that is stepping up the voltage for transmission so if we know that then we can just replace the values into the formula because we know sb nu is the 18 kilovolt ampere so that gives us then 115.2 ohm okay so that's the value of the base impedance for the line right now the next thing then is to convert our z actual which is a z of the line that is given by 0 comma 2 plus j 1.6 ohm now this is in rectangular form it is important to convert it into polar form to facilitate the calculations so the z actual is 0 comma 2 plus 1.6 ohm and that give us there is a j here just to make sure and that give us the following value 1,61 with an angle of 82.87 degree okay now that we found that we can then replace into the formula for z per unit of the line which is equal to z actual which is z of the line over zb and we replace in the formulas with the values and we get the z per unit of the line to be equal to 0, 0,014 with an angle of 82.87 degrees there is an angle and it's a an inductive angle because the line have an inductive impedance okay that's how we get the angle there now before we move on it is then important to convert the following value that is found in polar form to convert it back into rectangular form and converting it back we found the followings now we can see that our per unit have a resistive element and an inductive element into the per unit values now we can then move on to the next one the next step is then to calculate the per unit of transformer 2 okay now we're going to use exactly the same method we used to find the per unit of g1 and t1 that is by applying the general formula of the per unit system now replacing the general formula into our values we found that z per unit old for this transformer is four percent and the sbn is 18 kilovolt ampere that is exactly the same for a, for every component sb old is 20 kv given here and the vb old is 1400 that's the primary the primary voltage of this t2 transformer and VB new is the secondary, the, the, the secondary voltage of T1 that is coming into T2. And that's how you get those values. And you replace it in the formula and we found the Z per unit of 0, 0,036 J per unit. So you have to be very careful when determining these values. Because if once again, if you get them wrong, you're going to get your per unit wrong. And obviously, if you get the per unit wrong of the transformer 2, that means it's going to affect what will be the total per unit value up to this point. And that means the current that the per unit current that you're going to get at this point here is going to be wrong and affecting the system calculations. So it's very crucial to knowing these VB old and VB new for your system. Okay, now we move on to the next thing and that is to calculate the per unit value of the load. They told us that the load 
Easter wound. So we are working with face values of the Lord only. Why? Because assuming that the Lord is balanced. Now, if the Lord is balanced, that means the value that you're going to get in each. So star, that means we have a load is like this. Okay? So, now, if this load is balanced, that means the impedance that you have here is exactly the same impedance. There is exactly the same impedance that you get on each branch. So, it doesn't make sense trying to calculate the three-phase one. So, you have to calculate the phase values only. That means the value you get there will be exactly the same value that is going on the other phases. Okay? So, that is why we're only going to work, only going to be working with phase values of the load now to calculate the per unit value of the load we do exactly the same procedure we do to calculate the per unit value of the line but here you have to be careful because you're going to use two apparent power the first one is the base apparent power that's a 18 kilovolt ampere and the first the second one is the load apparent power that is given to us we have with 15 kVA. So this then mean we're going to use the base apparent power, the 18 kilovolt ampere, to calculate the base impedance of the load. And we're going to use the 15, the 15 kilovolt ampere apparent power of the load to calculate the Z actual of the load because it is exactly the same formula that is z per unit of the load is equal to z actual of the load divided by z base of the load just like this formula here but with the load values now we move on let's now calculate the z base of the load now the z base of the load is equal to vb square over sb nu that is exactly the same that we use here but the only difference now here is we are in a different zone. Which zone? The zone here, zone 3. So if you use a wrong voltage here, you're going to get the wrong answer. So you have to use a voltage on the zone. And that is the load zone. And the voltage is here is 208 volt. That is the voltage on the secondary of T2 transformer. Okay? So it's a step down transformer. So it's a step down voltage coming from the 1440 volt transmission line. So replacing the value that gives us 208 square over 18 kilovolt ampere and that gives us a 2.4 ohm. So 2.4 ohm here is the base impedance for the load. That is the base impedance for the load, 2.4 ohm. Now we need now to calculate the actual impedance of the load so it's two different things just like here there was a base impedance for the transmission line and there was a z actual of the line so now we need to find the z actual of the load now we're going to now use the z actual of the load using the apparent power of the load but now remember we have a power factor because they say the load has a power factor of 0 0,9 so that means we need to use the power factor into our formula for that load calculation, uh, that actual impedance calculation. This will then be calculated as follow. ZA of the load, Z actual of the load is then equal to VB square over S load. And this is the S load, that is 15 kilovolt ampere, as we've said. And this is the VB of the zone, that is of zone 3. Now replacing the value we found, 208 square over 15 kilovolt ampere that gives us 2.88 with an angle of 25.84 degrees now where are we getting the angle remember there is a power factor that is given to us if the power factor was one then the angle will be zero we determine the angle using the following formula theta is equal to inverse cos with the argument 0 0.9 that is the power factor and if you hit it on your calculator, you're going to get a 25.84 degrees. That is your angle. If you, if you replace the power factor of 0, 0,9 with 1, you're going to get 0. 
That means when your power factor is equal to 1, your angle is 0. So you don't have to use it. Okay? So that's how we got the 25.84 degrees angle. Now moving on, you can then replace into our Z per unit of the load the value ZA load over ZB load that is given with the following values that we've just calculated and we found that the per unit value of the load is equal to 1.2 with an angle of 25.84 degrees and then you have to take these values and convert it back into a rectangular form from the polar form and that gives us uh, z per unit of the load is equal to 1,08 plus 0,523j and that is now our z per unit for this star wound load okay thank you guys for watching we're going to stop this tutorial now on the next tutorial that is going to be part two of this tutorial we're going to now determine this current the current flowing from the load transmission line and the generator we're going to now because now we have calculated all our per unit values so we can then draw the per unit impedance diagram and then from there we can then calculate all the current that is flowing from our system based on the per unit diagram thank you guys for watching please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel i thank you cheers